Hello, everybody. This is a pre recorded, Samantha. I'm not live. What? Samantha. We know who you are. Samantha's with me. I'm going to do Samantha a shirt using the Hedgehog Club Couture thing. If y'all remember, I did these. I haven't got the ribbon on this one yet, but I did these with it. So this is what that would look like, but I'm gonna do her shirt with ink. And so, we've got to do a couple of things to prepare. I just wanted to show you that Chalk Couture, we have ink. This is a ink mat that goes behind your fabric that you're gonna ink. Leave those alone, please. They're Clorox wipes. This is not pre-rehearsed either. So, I think with this one, I'm going to cut it. I said that. Hush, Samantha. This is like half of what I really need, I think. So I think I'm going to cut it in half. Yeah, I think I'm going to cut this in half. Um, let's see. Where would half be? Don't knock the table, Samantha, please. So we are we at half is... 18, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 20, I think it's 24. So we're going to do 12. 1, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Right here. So I've got it lined up and we're going to cut it in half at 30. These are cuttable. You can cut it. I probably should have used a rotary cutter, but it'll be fine. There we go. Pretty straight. What is it, baby? Okay. Get that out of the way. Set that to the side. So this would be big enough to do Samantha's shirt. Now, this is tacky. See? So. I want you, Dad. Uh-uh. No, no, no. No, no. So what we'll do, I know there, I haven't got water in it yet. We're going to roll this up uh -huh. like this. I did feel. And get it in the shirt. So we're going to put the shirt out. Mm -hmm. The shirt. And it's going to be about, this is about where I want it. Now this is going to be layering, um, so there is some drying in between. This is ink, it takes a little longer to dry, so this may be a longer video than what the other one was. Although, I think with the other one, of course I did an unboxing on that to show you the Club Couture. If you didn't catch that one, it shows you what was in the Club Couture Kickstarter. Uh, can't if you um, are on the if you're part of if you sign up for the club couture we go shut that door baby yeah. so that um, of course daddy's fussing at the dogs he sounds like the guy off of um, off mm -hmm. of um, God, what is the name of that um, Christmas story cussing at the dogs for getting something on the table so we're gonna put the Little hedgehog here, and then we're gonna put the looking sharp about here. Yeah, that's about where it's gonna be. And since I don't have my normal colors, like with this one I used, this is the colors that would come in the chalk couture. There's another one. Where'd the other one go? Where's almond? Oh, there's almond, sorry. So this is what would come in your club couture pack. You would get enough paste to do the design, and you could do probably up to about four or five, six maybe, designs with that. But I don't have the ink in that color, besides with Samantha, I just don't think I will do that ink. So I'm going to do a, a non-conventional look. I'm going to do Club Couture Teal Ink. Please stop, stop. Then I've got to mix some ink. I'm going to mix white with a teeny weensy bit of red to make a little bit of a fleshy pink color. And then we're going to do the nose in red. And then I'm going to do looking sharp in black. So 
And I haven't opened these. Baby, I do probably need to put some water in my bath water, right? My water bath thing over here. I've just got some water that I'm gonna put in there. Hopefully it's enough to do what I need. Yeah, that's enough. And Oops, you, sorry, didn't mean to bump the head. It's okay. Is it okay? Uh, yeah. So now let me make sure I've got her shirt straight for me. Where it at least looks straight, you know? Not by the box, because I put it in there a little wonky. So what this does is it holds the fabric down, and it also holds, keeps the uh, ink from going through to the other side. Break on through to the other side. But um, I think that is, this is where I want the hedgehog. These have already been fuzzed. You don't have to fuzz them. So I'm just gonna lay this down so I get an idea of it being, the little nose is gonna be there. It's not exactly centered, is it? Move the body over a little bit this way. Doesn't take a lot to get that up. I'm hoping that it's gonna be tacky enough to stay down. <clears throat> Cause I tacked it pretty good when I did the other one. So I'm trying to line up shoulder to shoulder. Not exactly, I'm gonna bump it over just a little more. I'm so darn picky when it comes to this. Just a tad bit more. And now let's see if this will work. So the nose is gonna be about here. That gives me a shoulder. Yeah, I like that. Okay. So I'm just trying to line it up like here to here type thing. And then I know that the looking sharp is gonna go up here. And I don't mind it overlapping. I really don't. So it's gonna go about here like that. And I don't mind it going down and overlapping. I don't know, maybe let's move the hedgehog down just a tad. Where it's at, I know, position, position, position. I wanna just slide it down just a hair. There we go. Okay. Thank you, baby. Uh-uh, sweetheart, I would appreciate you not putting those in the water, okay? I got a there. So this ink is um, um, water cleanup. My goodness, this one's tight. Holy Moses! That was tight. Whew. Uh, it was glued on, huh? Okay. And we're gonna try and be careful. Oh, oh, this is an old one. Um, I don't think they necessarily come this way anymore, but. So this is an old one with the old foil. I don't wanna drop this on the shirt because once I'm, it gets on I'm your clothes, kidding. no, you can't have that. No, once I'm it gets failing. on your, woo, I want to I'm getting it. ink. Once it gets on your fabric, it's there. No, I want to fill it. Ew. Yummy. No, that one doesn't smell yummy at all, girlfriend. That one stinks. Well, you so, don't like it. Oh, this is great. This one doesn't need any prepping. I like it. No, now the um, shimmer, we did shimmer paste uh, the other day, yesterday, didn't we, Samantha, shimmer paste, yes. and it did, it smelled actually pretty good. <laughs> okay, so I just stirred it up, and it really didn't need a whole lot of prepping. So I'm going to take, I'm just going to get some of this excess off, and I'm going to put this in the water bath to clean. Oh, I would put in water bath. You gonna put it in there? Yeah. Put it in there. So I'm yeah. going to get some more. Let me see that. I'm gonna keep a wipey handy because, um, and I'm gonna start off and then I'm just gonna rub yeah. it over the yeah. design. Yeah. No, 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 no. That's good, just leave it there, baby. Just rub it over the design. And I'm not gonna do the registration marks. 
not for ink. And so we're gonna go, I'm gonna go both directions to um, push it down. So I'm gonna lift up and then just put this back in my, I'm not bearing down hard enough to really do a lot. Um, yeah, baby, watch what you do when you put that back over there. If you've used that, let's just toss that one. She put a used wipey over here close to the shirt. What you don't want, you wanna keep your, keep mind of your hands when you're dealing with ink. You don't want to put any more color on the fabric than where your design is. Where are you going, baby girl? Okay. Okay. So that is that one. And I'm going to drop this because, well, I might use it again. I might actually put looking sharp in uh, teal. No, 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 I won't. Okay. I'm thinking it's probably going to be black. So anyway, so that's the teal. I'm trying to see what you guys can see. I know it's kind of shadowy here. Um, let's see if I can open up a new light and see if, okay, there we are. Okay, so now there's this. So now we're gonna check our fingers. We gotta lift up. And there's our hedgehog. And now our ink is, um, she didn't finish my cleaning my multi-tool. It's okay, we got lots of wipes and lots of paper towels over here. Um, this ink is heat set. After you heat set it, it will be set. Good heavens, girl. Why would you do that? So, um, after it's heat set, you, um, you don't have that. That's awkward, isn't it? I don't know how to fix it. Probably shouldn't be fixing it on camera. You guys bear with me. You still see a shadow, don't you? It's crazy. Samantha, shh. Don't be too loud. So we need to heat, not heat set it, but we're going to dry it. And we're really going to concentrate over here. It takes a moment to dry. And we don't want to put a lot of heat on the, on the mat underneath it, but we want it to dry. Uh-uh, Samantha. Don't do that. Now, you're being mean to the dogs. Go take it back in there now. I'm gonna count to three, I'm gonna stop my video, and I'm gonna deal with you in just a second. See, I'm getting too much heat on it, on that mat. Go now. Um, so, let me turn it down. It's darkening up, so I can see that it's drying but still tacky to the touch. Oh, I don't want to touch the, uh, hang on. I certainly don't want to touch the shirt after I touch the ink. Hang on. I'm gonna grab a Clorox wipe and clean my fingers. It just comes off. It's okay. It's, you know, like I said, it's water soluble. So this should come back down. You're not gonna damage the mat, you just don't wanna put too much heat on it because it will stick to the to the shirt too much if you do. So, you don't wanna have the stickiness. Uh, on the shirt. So I'm just gonna pull it up. Oh, that's very tacky, isn't it? Okay. And then just pull it back down without any wrinkles and stuff. Oh, walking it back out. Walking my fingers back out. Now, there we go. Okay. Now, I lifted it up. Whoops, no. It's just gonna take a few minutes for it to, for it to dry. It's getting there, it's still tacky. What I don't wanna do is I don't wanna put the other layer on it, the face layer on it, with it being tacky. So, I'm gonna give it a little bit of time. That time it didn't come up on my hands, so it's getting close. 
so cute. The hedgehog is, um, it is distressed. So you can see here where the distress markings are. So that is that. So while that does it, I'm gonna prepare my, um, my other color for the face. So the face is the, um, is the other color, is the other one that I need. Now, I would normally do almond, So, uh, but I don't have almonds, so I'm gonna create a light pink. Ooh, this is one of the newer ones. This is ink, and it's good, and it shows up on, you go in. Love you. Bye. <laughs> she loves you, Wyatt. It's my son going back to his home. Um, so uh, to do the face, to do this little face, it does not take much. I mean, just a smidgen, like less than that. So I'm gonna get that in there and I'm gonna get me a stirring thing. This is a, um, uh -oh, what is that? Okay, whoo. <laughs> Talk about giving me a heart attack. I don't know, can y'all see this off camera? Yeah, okay, so it's not totally off camera. So I've got, um, let me put this over in my white over here. And I got some ink here. You just have to be careful. No worries. So there's, there's that, that's what I got in it so far. Now I'm just gonna pick up a smidge of red. A very smidge of red. And Lord help if I open it over this shirt and get it on it. So I'm gonna open this off camera, okay? Just off. And I'm not even gonna risk it splattering or anything on there. So there's the red, it's beautiful. So I'm gonna take another um, of my, pick up my paper towel that fell. Another of my little spatulas. And I'm just gonna do a smidgen of red, okay? I'll keep that over here. I'm gonna use this one to stir with, and I'm just doing a smidge. This is actually what I'm gonna use to do it. <laughs> I just dipped my ring in the white. So that may be too much. I just want a little pink little face. All right, just a pinky little face. That's a little more pink than what I wanted, a little too bright. Now I may can add some red to it, but or more white to it, but I don't know. That's pretty good. I kind of like that. But you really got to blend it up good. You really got to blend it up good. You really got to blend it up good. I like it. It's okay. It's good. It's good. I'm just hoping it's enough. I might pick up a little more white and plop down in there and not worry about getting it on it. Really. I just... It's not going to take much. There we go. That's good. What did I do? Hmm? Now we're going to mix. Just mix, 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 mix. And that really should be enough. It's not, it, even if it looks variegated or something, or a little stripey or something like that, it's gonna be okay. But I don't think it will, unless I get some of that in there. So, what I'm going to do, so I'm gonna put this down over here hold that where it won't and now feel this yeah it's getting there it's pretty dry I don't see any coming up on me wipe my hands off just in case so I'm gonna take the little face of the little hedgehog because this is definitely gonna be a little girl a hedgehog and I want to make sure that I get it down at a good area. 
And then I'm just gonna rub at the eye, rub at the little mouth, and just make sure there's plenty of tack down. Then I'm going to grab a squeegee that's clean. I cleaned it off camera. See, there's a little bit of red striped with it on this. I'll finish cleaning this. And then I'm gonna look at my hands and see what I've got on me. And clean myself up. I actually have a little bit of the, um, she went in for some reason. They always go in and leave the dogs out here with me. And I'm like, why? Okay, so there's my thing. And I've got white on my finger, so I'm just going to scrape it off. So there it is. There's the pink that I'm going to use, and that's plenty. That's way too much. Now remember, the registration marks up here, I don't need. You would need them to do the little nose and cheeks. Uh, but you're just going to have to eyeball it when you're doing ink. You don't want to do the registration marks when you do ink. Now... Just make sure you get everywhere that you need to get and that you're pushing it through. See, that was way too much. See, I did way too much. See, that was a lot. I could do probably another shirt, probably more. Now ink, we can also do on cups and I'm, a, I'm about to do, let's see, I think I'm gonna put this white, this is the pink one. Um, I am going to do nothing on my fingers that will get on here. Okay, let me make sure. That's, well, it looks dry. Okay, wiping my hands off, wiping my hands off. Nothing on here that'll get on the shirt. There's white on my ring, but I'll get that off soon. I am a messy, so I'm gonna hold the shirt. There's the pink Whittle Hedgehog. So it's just, you know, a different color than the thing. Now I'm gonna do the little cheeks and the little nose um, red. So, like we did before, we're going to dry it. Love it. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do the looking sharp in red. I think I am. So cute. I love it. So this is gonna be her little shirt. She's gonna wear this to school. And these are just, you know, little Walmart shirts. Little cute little t-shirts. Let's see, okay, so nothing on my hands. And what I'll do, I've got a heat press, but this is probably so small and I'm just doing one. If I was doing more than one shirt, uh, I would probably use my heat press, but I'm not. I'm just doing this one shirt, so I'm gonna take it and into my iron, and I'm probably not gonna do it until tomorrow. I'm gonna just let it relax and rest. See how that darkens up as it um, as it dries. <clears throat> and then we're just gonna get it dry just to tacky so that I can put my other little nose and stuff on it and uh, get that put down. I'm gonna do it in red and then I'll do the looking sharp in red and then that would be good. I need to get more ink. I'm collecting paste and um, yeah, collecting paste. Love it. <laughs> I love the paste, I really do. I love the ink, I'm so excited for the ink but I'm just, um, just got this a few more colors in ink and um, I got colors to do like a Halloween theme shirt for her and everything so yeah that's what I'm working on okay I'm going to I'm going to let it cool for a second I'm gonna let it cool a second find me another little squeegee let's see if this one has anything on it because I'm gonna do the red and then I'll do the looking sharp and red and that will be fine so I'm going to oh yeah I felt um, yeah it pulled up just a tad you see where that pulled up just a tad so I'm gonna let it cool just a second more 
So yeah, so this is Club Couture. So what it does is this transfer is exclusive only for people who do Club Couture. Club Couture is like a little um, gift that comes to you every month that you give yourself and it will come with the transfer and then the uh, paste. It does not come with ink, it comes with paste. And you get at least three is usually what the design calls for. And you get this and you get the transfer to do whatever you want with it for $19.99 a month. And that includes shipping, shipping's not extra. So, but as a Club Couture member, you also get some exclusive deals that they put out um, every often. You'll also get some exclusive deals with me too. Uh, and if so if you're interested in doing the club couture when you sign up you don't pay anything then you pay your your card will be charged the following month when the following club couture comes out uh, and that's the club couture that you'll get and that's like if you signed up in August you wouldn't be charged and you wouldn't get your club couture until September and I think it's around the 15th of the month is when they get shipped out so that's when you'll be charged so, with, um, with that being said, but what you can do is if you like the hedgehog and you want to get the hedgehog, and now, believe you, now's the time to sign up for Club Couture because you're going to start getting some holiday stuff, um, especially September. I have a feeling that September is probably going to be a harvest or something, something to do with fall um, Club Couture transfer. So when you sign up, you have the option of adding this one. As long as you sign up in August, like if you go in and sign up in August, you have the option of getting the August transfer for $19.99. And they'll go ahead and ship that one out. They'll go ahead and charge you. They'll go ahead and ship that one out. But also, you do have the option to buy a, stick, a Kickstarter kit. <laughs> the Kickstarter kit is $69.99. And you get uh, two boards with it. You get the Aiden board or the um, Aiden uh, uh, boutique board, and you get uh, the little boutique board that would fit the. It would fit this on there. You get the boutique board, uh, the small board and base. You get that, as well as white paste. See, this is one. You get the white paste. You get your um, board erasers, you get a squeegee, and you get the multi-tool. This is the multi-tool for stirring your stuff around. I'm just gonna draw nothing here. So anyway, so that is what you get. So I think this is gonna be tacky enough for us to do. Um, yeah, so you get that, and that's, you know, great. It's like a $80 value for $69.99. Um, so you save money on that, but if you sign up for that and you buy that, you sign up for Club Couture by the end of August, you buy that kit, I will give you, make sure, yeah, see the, um, the teal is still a little tacky over here. I didn't dry this part, so, um, I'm definitely going to keep my, let's let this cool down just a little bit more. This is tacky, but not like coming off on my fingers. Okay, that's good. Uh, let it cool off. But anyway, so if you sign up for Club Couture by the end of August and you buy the Kickstarter kit, I gotta find a little tippy tippy nose. You get the Kickstarter kit. I will give you, what you'll get from me is you will get $20 off of whatever you choose from the catalog. Yep. $20 off whatever you choose from the catalog. So that is my gift to you for doing that. So I'm going to use this red to do the little nose and to do the little cheekies. See how little? Oh my gosh. How teeny tiny. That was just a teeny tiny bit. I'm gonna go back over it. So this red may look different than this red because it's going over pink. But anyway, but it is going to be cutesy patootsy anyway. Where's my red lid? That's my white, that's my teal. Who knows, that's the white. Okay, I'm gonna put the 
red one there. And then I'm gonna lift this up. And down, so little cutesy. <laughs> you can tell this is for a little girl. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. So, there's that. And now that ink will clean off. It may stain just a teeny tiny bit of the um, transfer, especially the red and like the black. I don't know why I brought black over because I'm not gonna use black. Because I need the red to go on the, on the top. Okay. So now that's fine. I'm, I don't have to draw anymore. That's gonna draw on its own and I'm gonna wait till tomorrow to, to um, do it. You just gotta make sure it is dry before you, I'm trying to, here, I'm gonna pull the shirt down just a little bit so I can get this straight because I want this straight in between. But basically you just need to make sure it's dry before you, where's my hedgehog, I see him. So it's okay if it overlaps. I'm okay with that. I know that this P ends at that shoulder and this L ends starts at that shoulder. So does it look straight? I feel like it is. If I reposition it now, I may run the risk of transferring some of the teal because uh, like I said, this part of the teal did not get a lot of that drying time so there's that so this is going to be in red so I'm actually going to move this let's get this cleaned off chunk that in the trash because I think I've used about what I can of it so I love this I'm so excited this is too cute. So I'm gonna get this red. I didn't even stir this red now. I'm gonna get this red. Can y'all see that red? I'm gonna hold here. Okay, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna start here off and just pull across. Let's load up again. And I'm just gonna pull across. I just absolutely love this stuff. You know, I used to watch, um, I loved how people did like silk screening and that's what this is, a silk screening. I've done a little bit, I've ordered some silk screens before and done some before, but when, so when I saw this, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is silk screening at its finest. Because you know, I mean that speedball ink and all that stuff, that's expensive stuff. And you have to buy so many supplies to be able to make your own silk screens. I don't like it, so anyway. So there's that, looking sharp and no ink and I'm just gonna pull straight up <laughs> oh my gosh I'm in love I'm in love that's it guys that's it easy peasy I'm gonna chunk everything in my water bath over here clean my fingers make sure I have nothing on my hands you don't want to transfer and so then what I will do is I will keep, let's put all my inks up before I have an accident, because you know I will. Oh, I was going to say, oh my gosh, I already got something over there. Cover my white up. Oh, I love it. See, our inks, our paste can be mixed too. I know someone made a rose gold and oh my gosh, all kind of stuff. Gorgeous. Isn't that beautiful? So basically, I'll just, I'll just dry this a little bit. Then I'm going to take it off this, um, ink mat and then just let it hang to dry or something and then tomorrow I will just take my iron and um, and just heat set it like I said I'm not gonna crank up my big press for that just not gonna do that I just want to get this where it's not gonna fade over to the other side I don't want the ink to bleed Oh my gosh, gosh, guys. I love it. Anyway, so that's it. That's the other project. You can do so much with these transfers. You can just go all over the place. You can do a wall using the paste. You can, oh, it's just amazing. It's crazy and exciting. <laughs> so anyway, that's it, guys. I'm going to go clean my mess up, then pull this shirt off when I think that it's um, where it needs to be. Um, and yeah, that's all. Bye, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed. Let me know. Bye.